And tonight we are starting with a top story tonight dealing with what's going on in LaGrange. We are learning more about what happened there with a confrontation escalating among city leaders to the point that the Georgia Bureau of Investigation is now getting involved. The situation unfolded at the LaGrange City Council meeting on Tuesday night. News Leader 9's Gabriella Johnson has more on that story. Definitely a major atrocity of character that will be corrected. A minor distraction, it's over with, and we're moving forward as a city and as a county and as a community. Both Trip Foster and Dr. Israel Barr share their thoughts on an alleged heated LaGrange City Council meeting September 12th. An alleged incident between two councilmen took place between the council work and executive session. LaGrange Daily News reports District 2 Leon Childs and District 2 Nathan Gaskin are believed to be the two councilmen involved in the incident. The report says Childs claims Gaskin threatened him and lied that Childs put a weapon on Gaskin. Dr. Barsh previously ran for the District 2 seat. Barsh says leaders in high positions should have high exemplary character. Uh, I respect these two men highly, uh, honor them highly. Uh, there needs to be some sh character shifts. I would say that uh, and uh, I, I do respect and know that Mayor uh, Edmondson will take care of this matter. Former Troop County Commissioner Trip Foster says it's good Tuesday's City Council work session did not end with someone hurt. I'm very thankful that it didn't escalate past verbal. And like I said, it's just a minor distraction to our city and we refuse to look backwards because if we look in the rearview mirror, we're not making progress. We address things and we move on and we're going to make progress and we welcome people to our city. We WTVM spoke with Bruce Griggs, the founder of a youth initiative called Saving Our Sons. He says he's praying for Leon Childs. That's why I'm not attacking him. I'm praying for him. He was wrong as hell. He was wrong as he could be. But I'm not attacking him. I'm not going to join the bandwagon or jumping on top of him when he's down. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to pray for him and hope that he gets better. He don't need to be the counselor no more. Everybody's going to get upset. Everybody's going to get mad. I've, I've been pissed off at people too. You know, everybody gets to that point, but you, you don't pull a weapon. Lieutenant Chris Pritchett with LaGrange Police confirms to News Leader 9 the request for the GBI to investigate Tuesday's situation is to avoid conflict of interest or favoritism. In LaGrange, Gabriella Johnson for WTVM News Leader 9. And Gabriella also says she talked with Councilman Childs, but he had no comment about the matter. LaGrange Daily News reports Councilman Gaskin says, quote, he will issue a statement when it is deemed necessary, end quote.